Hey everyone, in this little mini mentoring talk, I want to talk about being okay with discomfort. Um, I've been doing a lot of listening to kind of seminars and podcasts from people like David Goggins and Jacko Willink about discipline. And one of the things that is very much repeated in these talks is about being okay with discomfort. Now we always talk about, hey look, uh, we need discipline to succeed, that's key. But a big part of that discipline is realizing that discomfort is just going to happen on that journey we have to get to our vision, that kind of end goal. And I think we're kind of used to the idea of thinking that discomfort is a bad thing. I remember in my training that there was a turning point and I kind of realized in my mind that, you know what, this, this sucks, it hurts, but that's okay. It's required to grow and get better. Being uncomfortable is not necessarily a bad thing. We have that vision, we have that goal, and that path, we have to get out of our comfort zone to succeed and get where we want to be. Now, I'm talking about discomfort that we put on our path to get to where we wanna go. That's very different from someone else causing you discomfort. Um, if someone else is maybe mentally or physically causing you discomfort, that, that's not okay. And we need to do things to try and get out of that position. If it's mentally, if people say negative things, remember, um, rule three, ignore the naysayers. Unless there's someone you respect, and hopefully you don't respect those sorts of people, we don't care about their opinions. Just let it disappear. We don't care about that. But I'm talking about the discomfort that we put on ourselves as part of our journey to get to where we want to go. Now, I personally believe we, like many animals, are kind of wired to be stressed. We're wired to be on alert because something's supposed to be trying to eat us, something's trying to take what we have. So our brain is wired to be stressed out. Now, many of us today, including myself, are blessed to not have a primary concern about not being eaten. And we have these nice lives, and that's not a stress we have. I have a very best, very easy life compared to many, many people. Now, when we don't have those hard things, when we don't have those stresses in our lives, I think the brain is still wired to say, I should be stressed. There should be some reason I'm kind of on alert. And so we get this feeling like we're stressed, we don't know why. So we find things to be stressed about. We find things to be upset and offended over. I think that's a huge part of, honestly, society's problem today where everyone's offended about everything. Everyone has a negative opinion, they have to share about everything because the brain is like, I should be stressed. Um, there should be a problem. I can't find something, so I will find something. I'm gonna be offended about this, I'm gonna be upset about this but it's really not a big deal. So if we do things that are hard in our lives, it will actually help balance us. If we do hard things, it will make us mentally strong. It will let us be able to handle things. It will put things into perspective. So I really think that's a key thing. Now, when I talk about something that's hard, that's uncomfortable for us, that could be physical, it could be mental. Learning can be hard, practicing something can be hard, improving can be hard. If it's physical hard work, when we push ourselves, that also makes us mentally strong. We get used to being able to carry on even when something is uncomfortable, so it, it builds strength mentally. And then I think we don't have to be the person who just looks things to be upset or offended about, the person who has to post negative things. Why? I heard this, Thing in one of the, the talks, it was fantastic to me. If you do only easy things, your life will be hard. If you do hard things, your life will be easy. And I think that's so true. Bruce Lee used to say, don't pray for an easy life, pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. People always talk about being burnt out, um, and that's super common today because I think many people are not doing anything in their life that they're passionate about. It's just that same mundane thing over and over again. If we challenge ourselves, 
if we add something into our lives, that goal we're trying to get to and we have some discomfort around getting to that goal, something that's gonna be worth it to us, that's worth going through that bit of discomfort to succeed, I think that can remove some of that burnout. Say for being tired, are we really tired? Or are we just tired of what we're doing day in, day out? So we always feel tired because there's nothing we're really passionate about that we're achieving. We might be getting enough sleep, but we're just always tired. I think you can actually miss a bit of sleep. You can get out of your comfort zone and use that time to do something you're passionate about and you'll feel like you have more energy. You'll feel better about yourself. And what's interesting is actually today, what kind of triggered this is someone tagged me on a LinkedIn post. And it was this person who basically posted, hey, for the last four weeks, I've got up at 5 a.m. every day and watched an hour of my Azure Masterclass. So this person has decided, this is discipline, getting up at five o'clock, what do they want most? They wanna want most is to learn Azure over what they want now, which is get an extra hour of sleep. So they're getting out of their comfort zone, they probably have some discomfort, they feel tired initially, they're waking up early, but they're going towards that goal. And that's phenomenal discipline. So they've made that decision to get up at five o'clock, get out of the comfort zone, they're finding the time. If you want something bad enough, you'll find a way. They made time. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. Oh, I don't have enough time to get that thing done. So I think being okay with discomfort is key to succeeding. And I think if we are uncomfortable on our pursuit of our goal, well, then we're more likely to succeed. If I've endured a certain level of hardship on that journey to get somewhere, when maybe I'm at the end of that journey, I'm a lot less likely to give up. If something was fairly easy to get to, I've not invested a lot, I can give up. If I've endured discomfort to get to that point, I'm gonna hang on that little bit extra to make sure I succeed at the end. If there's no real effort, I've invested nothing, it's easy to give up. So I guess my, my whole key point in this is we're I think nowadays designed to say anything discomfort, uncomfortable to us is a bad thing. And I disagree. Um, I start my day with physical training. It, it's hard, there, there, there's pain involved in it. But I think it's a good thing. We want to do hard things because it helps us put everything in perspective. Um, it gives us something to maybe channel that. And it doesn't have to be physical. It could be, again, you're learning, you're practicing, you're improving something else. But do something that's hard every day, that gets out of your comfort zone, and I think it can really help frame everything else in your life. So that was it. Um, we're wired to be all kind of stressed. Give it to something that it can focus that on, real, and the stuff that doesn't really matter, just let it wash over. That was it. Uh, until next time, take care.